What's going on everyone, Mellow Hosh here. I'm back with another video. Also another sneaker review video because y'all know I love my kicks. So um, if y'all watched my other video that I did of my Air Jordan 1 Low SEs or the All-Star Weekend, all right, uh, excuse me, not the SE, All-Star Weekend Edition, uh, y'all would know that I am trying to build my Air Jordan 1 collection. All right, uh, Air Jordan 1 low collection because the ones everybody knows the like that model is just so challenging to get and some of them is not as bad but you will have to pay resale price all right all the time if you can cop some Air Jordan 1's highs for retail well salute to you you're a lucky guy or a lucky chick all right so that being said I picked up another pair of Air Jordan 1 lows just the other day and i'm vibing with them let's get into it so i got them right here bam look at these so these are nothing really special whatsoever um this colorway is actually black arctic orange that's what it says on the box now i'm gonna show y'all a picture right here of the Air Jordan 1 highs that released uh, a few years ago and I also wanted those but um, again sold out tough to get you're gonna have to pay uh, uh, if you're gonna purchase you're gonna have to pay resale price so I did not know that they released these now that's the you had to pay resale price now getting into this shoe this I don't know if this the exact uh, 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 low top version of that shoe but they do look very similar right but um, the funny thing about the release of this shoe is I did not know these shoes was going to be at the sneaker store. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring the uh, camera just a little bit closer so y'all can see a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I didn't know these going to be in the sneaker store. So I uh, go to my uh, our one main mall in our city. It's called Grease Mall, Grease Ridge Mall. And they have the Foot Locker with the House of Hoop section in there. So... You know, they have an extended category of sneakers. And these was there in the same spot where I actually caught uh, caught my, you know, Air Jordan 1 All-Star Edition. All right, Air Jordan 1 Lowe's All-Star Edition. So I've been wearing these a lot. As y'all can see, this is a very neutral, you know, uh, to-go colorway with the black and white, very uh, basic, and with the patent leather on you know the different panels of the shoe which is awesome i love wearing these i can wear these all the time i actually want to buy me another pair of these so i can just stock it and then just keep banging these out but yeah i had to pick these up again building a collection so let's just get into the details so you have your black traction bottom air jordan one you know traditional traction very grippy you can hear the screech every trip when you're walking or whatever and then you have a white mid so of course uh same as you know any other air jordan one uh sneaker and then you have the hill panel right here with the uh air jordan wing logo with the basketball with the wings then you have the uh swoosh of course right there and then you have the black panels right here and then the toe is this arctic orange too and now the tongue is that nylon material, of course. Now, the difference is you have this logo, the circle logo with Jordan. So, they normally switch it up on the ones a lot. You're either going to get this logo or you're going to just get a simple Jumpman logo. All right. So, you know, that's just a different, just a little tweak to the details of the shoe. Other than that, you have just this regular, you know, phylon uh, insole. When I first threw these on yesterday, um, you can feel the plushness of the insole, but it's not really too plush. It wears out, bottoms out really, really quickly. So these will form to your feet really quickly. Um, for some reason, I think because of the patent leather is so like you know uh, reinforced. Uh, it was bothering my or well, wearing these. My my uh, my big toe was getting a little pinch in these, but in these not no pinching at all. So, you know, it does, I guess it just depends on the material, and I did cop these true to size, all right? Um, I would say this about this shoe compared to this Air Jordan one, this colorway. Um, 
it's just I'm gonna bring it up here actually. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got Mimic Rider. If I didn't notice. Uh yeah. I'm gonna get into that. But uh yeah. Decreasing in Air Jordan ones is literally immediate. Like as soon as you wear them, it's just gonna boop, gonna crease. Now the materials on here is terrible. I really don't like the materials too much. All of it is just synthetic materials and leather, uh, synthetic leather or whatever. So for the people who, you know, animal friendly, I guess this is going to be a good shoe for y'all to uh, look into and purchase. Um, the colorway is really good. It's, it's to me, I want to say it's kind of neutral like this in a way, not better like 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 it's very close i want to say it's very close to a neutral colorway like this you can wear this with pretty much any outfit but to be honest you really can't so much i mean you could do it of course your swag your swag your style your style but um yeah it's just i don't know i feel like with these you have to match these a little bit more you know you kind of want to wear something you know, neutral color, you know, with the shirts or the pants or shorts or whatever you want to wear. But it is a really good uh, matchable colorway, though, at the end of the day. So keep that in mind. Um, I do not like the creasing on here, to be honest. I don't like how the material crease on here. As y'all can see, it just looks so, you know, cheap. It's, it's like a very cheap crease because of the synthetic material, obviously. But... If this was actual leather, like, please just put the leather on the toe area. Just leather right here would have been good. The rest of the shoe could obviously have the synthetic material. And, you know, I probably wouldn't care, care too much. But when it comes to this crease, it just makes it look sloppy. I like this crease a little bit more, even though the All-Star Weekend Editions, these are also synthetic material. But, you know, it just creased better. I don't know. If y'all can tell the difference, but these is just new once again. But yeah, these just crease a little bit better. But um, yeah, that's about it. It just was a quick review of these. Uh, again, I'm building my Air Jordan One Low collection. These are easier to get. These are just sitting on the shelves in the Foot Locker, and I just brought them. Oh yeah, real quick too. Uh, the pricing was actually different for these. So since these are made with just regular synthetic material and they're not really like a premium, premium uh, Air Jordan, you know, low sneaker, um, I actually paid under $100. I paid $93.60. And these I paid $110. All right, they, they started at $100 and then I paid the $10 tax or whatever like that. So, you know, not really big of a difference, but it is a difference. All right. And another thing too i like about the air jordan one lows is that they are uh i wouldn't say yeah yeah i would say this because they are sitting on the shelf but they are underrated we all know that the air jordan one highs is just the most nostalgic notorious legendary original sneaker so i understand that so for people like me who have other things uh to do with their money and learning how to manage money I'm not really trying to go for the Air Jordan 1 highs as much as everyone else. I would like my pair, and I do plan on buying the comfort versions. I would pick the picture right here. I will plan on buying certain colorways of the Air Jordan 1 high comfort edition because I'm big on comfort, and these things are not comfortable. So if y'all are going to buy these, uh, and for the ones who do have them, you know, you want to wear these occasionally to certain locations. Like, I, I live right downtown in my city, and I do tend to go out to, like, the bars and all that. And these are perfect shoes to just throw on, look good in, and take a quick walk, okay? But if you're going to be on your feet a long time and just doing a lot of other stuff, I wouldn't suggest wearing Air Jordan ones unless you have something in the insole to back you up with cushion or you get the comfort Air Jordan 1 highs. But other than that, everybody, again, that is it. I do appreciate y'all for tuning in and uh, sticking with this review with me. And again, yeah, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for showing support. This is Melahash. Melahash is out. Peace.